measure of dispersion for group data. So as we discussed before this, we have four different formula for measure of dispersion. The first formula that we have for group data is range. The formula for range for group data is different. Last upper class boundary minus with the first lower class boundary. So first of all, you need to calculate the class boundary. And then after you calculate the class boundary, you are going to get the upper and lower value. So this is the class boundary. The last upper class boundary is 99.5. And then the first lower class boundary is 29.5. So range for this question equals to 99.5 minus 29.5 equals to 70. So this is the range of this data in example 2.50. So the next question is interquartile range. So you need to remember in order for you to calculate interquartile range you need to calculate quartile so um, in other video we already discussed about how to calculate quartile 3 and quartile 1 for group data please refer to that video if you don't remember how to calculate it but then in this video we are only going to use the value so value for for quartile 1, for this question is seven, uh, 73 for quartile 3 and then minus quartile 1, 53.39. So the interquartile range for this data is 21.61. The same thing happened to quartile deviation. So quartile deviation equals to quartile 3, 73 minus value quartile 1, 53.39. And then this is deviation. You need to divide by 2. So the value is 10.805. So this is the value for quartile deviation. So range done into quartile range, quartile deviation. So the last one is standard deviation for this question. So the last formula for measure of dispersion for group data, we have standard deviation as n variance as square. Okay, so according to question in example 2.50, the value given is the marks or the class interval 30 to 39 and then number of students. So we need to know that the number of students is actually the frequency. So this is F. And marks is the class interval. So the formula we need to calculate for standard deviation is this one or for variance is this one. So we need to actually get summation of fx and summation of x square. But then according to the question, we only have value for f. So you need to calculate the midpoint because the midpoint is actually the x that we need the class size we don't use class size so you need to add f multiplied by x okay so x 34.5 f 4 so the first value for fx is 4 multiplied by 34.5 equals to 138. So this one is 138. You need to another calculation actually because the formula we have to calculate for x square. So for this one, x square, so x 34.5 multiply 34.5 multiply by 4. So for fx square, we are going to get 47.61. Okay, I already calculate all the values that we need to use. Okay, so after you calculate all the values in the table like this, you need to turn up you need to total up everything and then the value down here is the value that we need the summation the summation of x and the summation of x squared 
and then after you have uh, after you have that value you need to replace or substitute the value into the formula so this is the formula based on the formula this one is the summation of fx square and then this is the summation of fx so you replace the value and then the total f cumulative f is 15 so you need to replace cumulative f and then calculate it using calculator so you're going to get the final answer 15.7739